hi everyone in this video we are going to learn how to create data frame from a list dictionary numpy array and last one will be series and other data types now let's create data frame from list so over here in the first line i have imported pandas as pd and then in the second line i have defined one list of list which is just the list of numbers a string and boolean values now if i wanted to convert this list of list to the data frame then um, i just have to let's say i will call the new variable as list data frame and then i will call pd dot data frame and then just pass this list data over here i will execute this code and then let's see this new data frame and we we have created this data frame but one thing to observe that column names as well as the index are has been assigned by default so if i wanted to customize this column name index how i can do that so simply over here i have to the columns and then pass the values uh, which column name I want say column 1 column 2 and column 3 let me re-execute this code and this time you can see column name has been changed now similarly if you wanted to change this index value maybe that way it will be better for me to access the access this data so i will just call index and then pass the values over here let's say first row then second row and then this is third row let me rerun this code And this time you can see the index value has been changed for this data frame now one more thing let's do over here all these lists are of same size I, if what i will do i will change this list i will just increase the size of one one list over here let's rerun the code and as i have added one more column so i have to add this new column also now at this time you can see if size is not even that time for for like first row and second row as there is no matching value for the fourth column we got the none value over here now we are going to learn how to create data frame from python dictionary now the same previous list i have just converted it into python dictionary over here you can see these are the key value pair and key i have given as the column name so if i wanted to create the data frame from this dictionary then say it will be data frame and then uh, i will again call the pd dot data frame and pass this this dictionary data now as already i have given the column name information here as a part of the key value so so let's run this one now let's see this data frame and you can see data frame has been created as well as we got the column name whatever the key we had provided over here now similarly if you wanted to pass or to create the index for it then just like the previous one 
pass the values index value over here uh, let me rerun this code and you can see we have the index value over here now let's modify this uh, last list over here i'm i'm going to increase the size just like the previous one so let me execute this and now as we have added one more row over here so either i can pass one uh, like the index value for the fourth row but for the simplicity let's remove this and now let me execute this code and this time you can see we are getting the error that the array length is not same for all the of the data so just just uh, remember that uh, in case of the list that's okay but uh, when we are creating from python dictionary that time all the array length should be same otherwise you will get the uh, length error so if i will increase the array length to 4 that time it should work now you can see this code executed successfully let's see the data and you can see over here we have now four records are there now we are going to learn how to create a data frame from numpy array for that i have to import numpy module now going to create one numpy array and uh, empty dot so this will create one three by three array so let's look into this data so this is some random numbers over here and now if i wanted to create the data frame for uh, this this array then i can say np array data frame and pd dot data frame I'm going to pass this numpy array here now let's just print this data frame and over here you can see data frame has been created with the default column name and index value if you wanted to change it Simply use the column and uh, index method. Now in this last part, we are going to create data frame from series and uh, mix up other data types. So well before that, let's see what is the series. So this one over here is a data frame, but one particular column over here is a series. So data frame is nothing but combination of multiple series are there. So if I wanted to access the first uh, column over here, I'll just say first column. And then over here you can see we got all this data. Uh, if you wanted to check what is the type of this column, let's check the type. And you can see this is a uh, 
series data type so now what we are going to do we are going to create one series and then from that series we are going to create one data frame so here i have defined one series called series one and uh, over here i have given the index uh, value also because uh, just like the data frame even the panda series can have the index values so we have given the custom index value one two three four now over here in this uh, data frame if you see i have given for the first column a i have given one single value uh, it may be like like that i can pass it like a array of uh, numbers different numbers but instead of passing this same data for uh, all the rows i'm saying like it's one for all the rows similarly i'm passing a time strong value and passing one single value and then creating one array numpy array and finally this one is interesting where we are passing one panda series over here so let me run this code now one thing to notice that what do you think so like the index value for this uh, new data frame what it will be will it be default index value because you are not passing any uh, index value over here right so what do you think it will be default or it will be something else so that's we are going to see next now let's check this new data frame and one thing to note that this index value is uh, not the default index value instead of that we have the same index value what we passed to this series so it's a little bit you have to be careful that whenever you are using a series and series has index value that it will it will keep that index information even in the data frame now let's do one more experiment over here and let me create one more series say series 2 this time going i'm not passing any index value so by default this series should be the default index value should be there check that one series and here you can see the index value is one two three so now if i will create one more column and say this is e column data will be series 2 let's run this and we are getting error that uh, array length 4 doesn't match with the index length 8 now you might be thinking like how we are getting the 8 index so let's remove this one just to see like why we are getting that error now it's able to create so now let's check this new data frame and you will be surprised to see that instead of four records we have eight records and why so because both of these series has different index value and while creating the data frame it want to preserve those index value so that's why it, it it's just going to retain that information so over here these the first four records are 
are due to series 2 where its index is from 0 1 to 3 and all this data will be common but for for d column this is like an n value similarly for the next next four records over here the e column value is an n now if i wanted to just create only four record and then do one small modification for second series also i'm just going to change its index value instead of eight records i just wanted to get four record now both of these series have common index so this time if i'll create the data frame that time you can see will have only four record instead of eight records so let's see that yes so just remember that one that whenever you are using one series that index if series has an index value it will going to retain that information thanks for watching